Switching from Windows gaming to Linux gaming can be very complicated. Not because Linux is so complicated these days, but because there are so many options in the Linux world and everybody seems to have a different opinion what is best. This can be very overwhelming for aspiring Linux users. So I asked myself if ChatGPT could provide help with how to start with Linux gaming. I should also note that I never had used ChatGPT before, even though I was fascinated with AI for many years. I studied it in my free time, I took every class at the university that had anything remotely to do with AI, and of course my thesis was all about AI. And then I kind of lost interest right before AI exploded in the public eye. If I hadn't lost interest, I probably would have landed a high paying job as a machine learning engineer and wouldn't have to make these videos now. With that in mind, let's get started. To find out whether ChatGPT could help a Windows user to switch to Linux, I put together 10 questions about Linux gaming and I will rate the answer with 1 to 5 stars. Is it a good idea to switch to Linux for gaming? Switching to Linux for gaming can be a great idea. But it depends on your preferences, the games you play and your willingness to troubleshoot occasionally. Okay, let's talk about the first answer, which is pretty good. I would have given 5 stars if it weren't for the statement about the game launchers. As far as I know, there's no way to use the Xbox Game Pass on Linux, not even with workarounds. Therefore, 4 stars. How to switch to Linux for gaming Switching to Linux for gaming involves a series of steps to set up your system, ensure compatibility, and optimize your gaming experience. Here's a detailed guide. This answer is not bad, but not perfect either. I wouldn't call Ubuntu optimized for gaming, but to ChatGPT's credit, the Ubuntu team is improving in this field. It is also not ideal that distros like Fedora are mentioned, but then only up commands are displayed. But the worst statement in my opinion is, ensure your kernel is up to date for better hardware support. Without further explanation. All distros manage kernel updates automatically, and everything else is optional for users who know what they are doing. Probably every sane user would use this as a starting point for further investigation, and therefore this answer is not too bad. Therefore, I will give it 3 stars. If you could only recommend one Linux distribution for Linux gaming, which one would it be? If I could recommend just one Linux distribution for gaming, it would be Pop OS. Here's why. While I would say that window tiling has no effect on the performance, Pop OS is still a good distro. 5 stars for this answer. I saw on Reddit that Pop OS has outdated packages. Is this true? The claim that Pop OS has outdated packages is partly true, but it needs context. Here's a detailed look. This answer was honestly pretty good. The only thing that was missing is that Pop OS is in a transition phase from the GNOME desktop to its own cosmic desktop environment. Therefore, the non beta version is still based on Ubuntu 22.04 at the moment. 4 stars. Is it a good idea to dual boot Linux and Windows? Yes. Dual booting Linux and Windows can be a great idea if you want the best of both worlds. But it depends on your needs and willingness to manage a dual system setup. Here's an overview to help you decide. I have nothing more to add to this answer. 5 stars. Is it possible to dual boot Pop OS and Windows? Yes, it is absolutely possible to dual boot Pop OS and Windows. Pop OS is based on Ubuntu and supports dual booting, but the process involves careful planning and some manual steps. This answer was pretty bad. As far as I know, the current Pop OS installer does not detect a Windows installation and clean install and the Pop OS installer will simply wipe the whole drive. It is possible to dual boot Pop OS in Windows, but it needs some manual steps, unlike with the Ubuntu installer which can configure dual boot automatically. Also to dual boot with Pop OS, secure boot has to be disabled, which is not mentioned at all. There are even a lot more wrong statements like install the bootloader or boot into Pop OS and run sudo upgrub. One star. How to install NVIDIA GPU drivers on Pop OS? Installing the NVIDIA GPU driver on Pop OS is straightforward, especially since Pop OS has excellent out of the box support for NVIDIA GPUs. Here's how you can do it. Unfortunately, I have no NVIDIA GPU at the moment to verify this, but this sounds about right. 5 stars. How to install AMD GPU drivers on Pop OS? Installing the AMD GPU driver on Pop OS Just is generally straightforward because the Linux kernel includes open source AMD drivers by default. I think the perfect answer would be that everything is pre installed and nothing more has to be done. 
PopOS updates Mesa quite frequently and therefore adding additional repos is unnecessary in this case. Regarding the AMD GPU Pro driver installation, I never did this myself so I don't know how accurate the explanation is, but ChatGPT also mentions that in most cases it is not necessary to install the proprietary driver. 4 stars. Is it possible to install GOG games on Linux? Yes, it is absolutely possible to install Jalgug. Good old games, games on Linux. This answer was quite detailed and without manually checking every method, I think it should be good enough. The only problem that I see is that multiple methods are described but none is marked as recommended. I personally would prefer using the Heroic Game Launcher and therefore I wish this method would be tagged as recommended. Also I have no idea why it mentions to install the Vulkan driver, I never had to do this manually on any distro. Another problem that I see is that the question was not distro specific but only app commands were displayed. 3 stars. Is it possible to install Epic Store games on Linux? Yes, you can install and play Epic Game Store games on Linux. While Epic Games does not natively support Linux, With Epic Game Store games, it recommends the Heroic Game Launcher. It also shows alternative options like Lutris and Bottles, and therefore, I would have given it 5 stars. But again, it recommended to install the Vulkan driver for some reason, and only showed app commands. Therefore, 4 stars. What I didn't know, after some questions, ChatGPT switches to a less accurate model, at least for the free plan. I repeated the question regarding the Epic Game Store and the answer was a bit different, but also not better or worse. The following questions could possibly be answered better by ChatGPT with a better model, but almost no user would switch to a paid plan or wait until the next day. Therefore, I will continue with the less accurate model. How to display the FPS on Linux? Displaying the frames per second FPS on Linux can be done using several tools depending on what environment you're working in. The statements about the Steam FPS counter and Mango Hood are correct. The other statements are either not used in practice or incorrect. Never heard about fraps running on Linux and regarding the FPS monitor. Two stars. I have low FPS on Linux. How to improve? To improve FPS frames per second on Linux, here are several strategies you can try. I'm not sure how to rate this answer. Performance optimization can be very system specific and some valid points were stated, but at the same time a significant part of the answer is BS. 2 stars. From 60 possible stars, ChatGPT got 42, or in other words 70%. As with all tools, I think it can be helpful if used the right way. Using ChatGPT as a starting point for further investigation can be quite effective, but using it as a substitute for the Google search is not really beneficial. Have you ever heard about the YouTube channel Low Budget Linux Gaming? Yes, I have heard of the YouTube channel Low Budget Linux Gaming. Correct me if I'm wrong, but the first part of the answer was quite accurate. But I have never built a $280 gaming PC that outperforms the Steam Deck. Maybe not a bad idea for an upcoming video. Now I just need $280. With that said, leave a like if you liked the video and consider subscribing. See you in the next one.